So, yeah, Emily had mentioned to me in one of our recording sessions when Bakersfield Cactus was in the studio with me that they had been rehearsing some music up on the third floor of the Woolworths building and mentioned how cool it sounded. I wanted to go up and experience what the room was like ahead of time, so I met David and Emily up on the third floor a couple weeks prior just to see what the room looked like and sounded like. And upon walking in there, I, I noticed that, you know, just trying to have a conversation in the room was a little tough. It's a giant room. It's more or less a, a big echo chamber. And I knew right away that that's sort of the opposite of what you normally want in a normal, you know, recording um, scenario. However, um, once they started playing and singing in the room, I immediately got it. And I could hear what the room had to offer. And I just, sort of also knew that we were going to have to approach this project differently. Let's keep this very simple solo, duo, trio style acts that are doing mostly acoustic um, performances. And sure enough, that was exactly what worked like magic. So my approach, um, knowing that the room was basically an echo chamber, was that I, I needed to capture the artist the best I could. So I made sure to get you know direct signals from instruments, close mics of vocals and things. But I also wanted to set mics all around the room to sort of capture what the room was doing. And there's no really better way than to just show you. So here is. Um, a small portion of John Ranger's performance and I'm going to start with the room mics off so you can just sort of hear the dry signal of his voice and instrument and then I will unmute the room mics and make those live so you can understand um, what exactly the room is doing and why um, it is so unique. <laughs> 